Dorothy Gladys Anderson. Uh, I was born in Melbourne, 8th of the 9th, 25. Um, the hospital was in George Street at that time. I was born there. And, yeah, I had three brothers. One was a stillborn, the other two brothers, and I had two sisters, and one was a blue, but what they called a blue baby back in those days. And um, I've still got a brother left, so yeah. At the Milton, Milton, North Milton School, I went to the North Milton School. Um, I was there till I was 14, then I left and got a, a job in the um, commercial hotel in the kitchen place, yeah, doing dishes and cleaning silver and setting tables. Back in those days, it was nice white tablecloths and white serviettes and silver pepper and salt shakers, which you don't see today. Yeah. And, and then I left there and then I, uh, I worked in the um, shop at Cummings Theatre. I worked there for a while and then I ended up going to Davies Newsagent and that, that's where I, I stayed there for quite a while, yeah. Uh, other than that, well, I have done a great lot in Meriden. <laughs> I met my husband. He's in the second first AGH hospital unit and that's where I met him. He came from Adelaide, he enlisted in, from Adelaide. And then I went to Adelaide for, well, we were over there after we got married. I was over there for about seven and a half months, but then we came back to Meriden and I've been there ever since. On a street corner, I presume, <laughs> out walking on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> yes, with some other girls, yeah. Yeah, so we met, yeah, yeah. For fun, oh, well, we used to go out the rock and, and it didn't do a great lot. I didn't. I was never very sporting. I wasn't a sporting person. So we um, used to just... Um, go for walks out the rock and around about and did quite a bit of fancy work in, in the early days. A girlfriend and one of my girlfriends and I, she was very interested in fancy work and so we used to do a lot of fancy work in those days. And then we had the railway picnics. We used to go to the railway picnics at Barndee Lake. Um, you had your food in a suitcase back in those days. There was no eskies. Yeah, we went on a train. Um, it was just like the ordinary box carriages then. They weren't streamlined like they are today. And they used to drop us off down there. And then we had to walk over to the lake. It was quite a walk from the train stop to the to the lake. And then the, the train would come back five o'clock and pick us up from the lake. Yeah. So we had quite used to have a, quite a good day down there. Yeah because there wasn't the boats down there like there is today. That, you know, a lot of people have got boats and go to Bundy Lake now. Yeah, It's full at the... Oh, I don't know, probably emptying out a bit now, but it was full after all that rain we had. He worked in the um, Spargo's grocery store. He, he was there... Well, well, what I can remember, he was there right from when he came to Meriden. Um, he worked for... Herb Spargo, and he was there till uh, the shop closed, till Herb closed down, yeah. Right. So my husband worked there. Um, he used to go around on, on a bike and collect the orders, and then he used to deliver the orders on a horse and cart, because no cars and utes back those days. He, so he delivered the, the groceries on the horse and cart, and... Um, and he was in the railways for a while. He was a conductor on the trains, but he gave that up and then ended up at Locks Furniture Store. When Locks Furniture opened here, he um, he was working there till he, till he sort of retired, or he had to retire through injury. So, yeah, oh, well, we had a flour mill. We had a... Uh, um, 
what we have Emmett's uh, he used to make the beer here had the brewery we had the brewery we had a, quite a big water supply and oh, we had the flour mills uh, we had three butchers and I think we had we had two uh, two grocery two big grocery stores um, and the little one up French Avenue uh, there was three bakeries to start with we had three bakeries here um, and three shoe shops so Meriden was quite quite a big place and for a couple of fruit shops we had that used to sell fruit and veggies and then there was Tommy Lake's tea rooms when he had a garden outside where you used to, could go, you know, buy drinks and ice creams and go and sit out in the garden, which was nice. Oh, we went to dances. Yeah, we used to go to dances at Hines Hill on a Saturday night. We, there used to be dances there, so uh, we used to go there. One of my friends that um, she married, uh, the guy that used to take us down, one of my friends married him. He used to drive us down to Hines Hill. So there was two or three of us used to go down. Yeah, you know, the groups, other groups used to go down there too. Um, you know, other than that, I didn't do a great deal really. Yeah. I only had two children. Uh, Margaret's in New Zealand and, and John is here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, well, there wasn't a great deal here. They used to play sport. John was very sporting. Uh, Margaret wasn't so keen on sport, but she did play tennis and uh, basketball and that sort of thing. And uh, and John played, oh, he played everything, I think, basketball, cricket, tennis, everything, football. Uh, and that's about it, I think. Uh, well, I'm not sure when my dad came to Milton, but um, my mum and dad were married in 1922, I think they were married. Yeah, and they were married uh, in Northam, because my father uh, came from Northam. He was br- brought up in Northam, yeah, and his brothers and sisters, they were all in Northam. Oh, uh, not a great deal. Um, a girlfriend and I used to go down to Calabaran during the, the war because um, that's where we used to buy our fancy work at Ann Scarfs when scarfs were down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we used to get, uh, I used to call it the um, paper train. We used to go down in the morning after the paper, the train used to bring the papers up, then went back. We used to go on that train, then we'd be in, spend the day in Calabar and catch the train back that night, about five o'clock or something. I think it used to get into Meriden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Mini. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I didn't have much to do with it. Um, or oh, Stan, it, he, it was his favourite horse, of course. He looked after it. He used to feed it and look after it weekends and everything. Uh, yeah. And then it went out to um, out to Joy Giles's farm when the when the horse retired and when they closed the shop, uh, they went it went out to Joy and Malcolm's Giles farm, and Stan used to go out there occasionally and see it. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, so only during the war we made um, car- uh, camouflage nets and things like that. Oh God, with ropes, <laughs> sort of a, a, str- a stringy type of ropes. Yeah, yeah. It's quite awkward to to start with, but once you got the hang of it, it was okay. Yeah. No, just a certain few did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there was a friend of mine who used to be a, what we called a spotter, up in um, oh, up in that two storeys place there in Barrack Street, I can't think of the name of it now, where Miller's uh, used to be a chemist shop, mm. or was a chemist shop, and then up they had upstairs, and during the war um, they called that the spotters. You, yeah, they used to look out for, you know, pl- planes, anything coming sort of thing, yeah. Well, we'd been up there years ago when we were kids, yeah, 
yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, no, it didn't go out to the camp when it was there because you weren't supposed to be out there sort of thing. You weren't allowed to go out there. Well, the, the Air Force was in town the same time, I think, yeah. Uh, well, the Air Force might have been there. The Air Force were here there before the second first AGH came, yeah. Oh, just having the family here, I think, because all my family was here. My sister was here, and um, both my brothers were here, so, and we were pretty close family, so I think that was the reason we stayed here, yeah. Mm-hmm. And would you have done anything differently in your life? I don't think so, no, mm-hmm. no. Um, no, there was pictures at Cummings Theatre. That was when I uh, when I worked in the shop at Cummings Theatre there, that little shop there, two rooms there. We I worked there. There was pictures there. Yeah, we used to go to the pictures quite a bit, yeah. Well, I didn't go that much when I was working there, but before I was working, we used to go quite a bit, yeah, when we were kids, yeah. Oh, it's a crystal serviette ring. Um, well, it would be. Oh, I've been married about seventy-eight years, so it's seventy-eight years old. Um, an auntie gave them to me for, as a wedding present, so I've treasured those. Yeah, uh, there was only a pair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because that was during the war where there wasn't much to sort of buy. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Methodist Church here. They've changed the name now. I think that little church. Yeah, mm-hmm. at home. Yes, because we were battling to to have a reception because we had uh, ration tickets then when I was married. We only had ration tickets. Well, it meant you so much, you were only allowed so much, sort of jam, um, flour, um, icing sugar you couldn't get, um, coconut, things like that you couldn't get. Uh, my auntie brought them down from, they were up in Marble Bar, and they came down and um, she used to do quite a bit of catering. So she had coconut and icing sugar and bits and pieces that she had from her catering, so she brought that down. So that was all very handy because we couldn't get it on in the ration, with the ration tickets. Meat, mm. oh yeah, I, yeah, we didn't get much meat, I don't think I can't remember much about the meat um, but then again there wasn't all the choices of meat there is today either mm. you know mince and sausages were about the, the best or legs of lamb you were you know you were lucky to sort of get that sort of thing yeah oh well, Homson's uh Homson's shoe shop I guess was pretty special he always had nice shoes yeah and uh, he was uh, the uh, Mr. Homson, he was always a nice guy, and then his son took over that in later years. His uh, Siggy took over the the shoe shop, so we just sort of stuck with them because they always had nice shoes. Yeah. Mm. Oh yes, yes. Well, he was um, Margaret's dad was in the army, mm. so there was Margaret's mum was running in the shop, yeah, and she had two brothers. Bill and Merv, and I knew them very well, because Merv was killed during the war. Um, yeah. Um, no, Mark's mum was very good to work for. She was lovely, yeah. Well, um, the papers and books, and uh, ha- there was a little bit of, like, doilies, fancy work and things you could get, you know, stranded cotton and things like that. But uh, there wasn't a great lot of gifts, of course, because being wartime, there wasn't a lot of gifts. But um, no, it was quite quite busy there, yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to know quite a lot of people, that, you know, the special people that used to come in and get the paper every day or and that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was um, the arcade under Duff's Hotel, uh, yeah, well, Economic was there, which it used to be called Economic, which Dyer Drakeford took over. And then there was a photographer there, uh, there was a dressmaker, uh, there was a dentist, uh, 
And at the front of the arcade, we went in, there was a men's shop um, and a barber's shop, the other side of the men's shop. Mm. Yeah. No, I didn't used to drink. We didn't drink. We used to have a... Uh, when Duffs did the um, garden, they had the outside garden part, we used to have a cool drink or something there. Yeah. Mm. But I never ever drank. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a big... Yeah, well, didn't know a lot of the railway people, you know, because mm. they used to keep shifting them around. You know, you get yeah. to know them, then they get transferred. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I don't know. There's not not a great deal here, is there? Well, I suppose um, a lot of people are, seem to be interested when they hear the second first OGH was here, like to go out and see that there is little bits and pieces out there, the cement floorings and things out there, or there was, I don't know whether it's all gone now. Um, but other than that, I, I don't know. Uh, what the interest, oh, with the art, people are interested in the art. I think they're quite busy with that. I don't know much about it. He was an orderly. Yes, it was quite a big place. Mm, mm-hmm. It was quite big, yeah. Uh, well, I used to bring them by ambulance, army ambulances, and um, on the train, I think, yeah.